What is up everybody, I'm TCSK, thanks for checking out my video, oh yeah, and thanks for the subscribe. Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you the best setup of element build, this is going to be crazy and powerful. With this build, Apocalypse Pass 20 is a piece of cake to you. All you need to do is just pass by all the monsters, and they are gone. Now you see, now you don't. Okay, let's take a look at Satchel of Element. To get this artifact, you must have Howling Pig DLC. You can get it at Gale Sanctum or buy it from any of the three merchants at camp. I recommend you to buy from them as it is much faster, but you will need some Emerald. If you are having trouble on farming Emerald, do check out my video, it is right up here or down there at the description. It can help you to farm some Emerald or a lot of Emerald with easy way. The Search of Element has the ability to target 7 monsters at once and strike them with an elemental status of effect, either struck by lightning, frozen or set ablaze. At 169 level, the lightning strike does as high as 214,000 damage. The frozen can slow down monster but the monster at Apocalypse Plus still can move very fast. Their blaze damage is kinda low but it will burn over time. This can help a little. It is even better if you can get it above 169 level, it does more damage. And you will need 3 of it, but still not powerful enough to handle Apocalypse Plus 20. So to make the Satchel of Element more powerful, you will need to pair it with the Splendid Rule. It comes with 50% more artifact damage, that means it will increase your Lightning Strike damage to 321,000. Each set of element can target 7 monsters, that means it can deal as high as 2.2 million damage per cast. Now that's what I call powerful. 25% artifact cooldown plus you will need 3 cooldown enchantment so total you will have 4 cooldown reduction holy cow with that you can cast search of element non-stop and last 30% more melee damage hmm you don't need this anyway it's a bonus now the weapon you need a soul weapon regardless of flavor and reality with anima condu enchantment so it can heal you up a little whenever you kill a monster. The other two can be any but I recommend you to use two prospectors if your soul weapon have it. So you can earn some emerald while you are on your journey. As for the bow, I recommend you to use hard bow with infinity, wow rage and punch enchantment. So you can multiple punch and wow rage infinitely. If you can't get hub crossbow, either skater or lightning hub crossbow is still good. The bow doesn't deal good damage for you, it just used to slow down the monster who rushing toward you. Okay, that's all you need and here's a summary for you. The pros of this build, you can deal very high artifact damage, huge area of effect, 1 second cooldown on artifact, taunt and deflect fear free. Oh yeah, I know you're scared of this. Now it's a fear free to you. Kill like a boss. Emerald farming. It is better with prospectors enchantment on your weapon. For cons. Very low defense. Normal movement speed. Fear of quick movement monster. Conclusion for this build. Search of element will cast random element. Lightning is the element that deal highest damage. Don't worry, you have 3 satchel. The chances to cast lightning strike is kinda high, with that you can kill group of monsters flawlessly, but you will die in few hits. That means either you kill the monster first, or they kill you first. So you gotta act fast. Okay, now you have everything, I'm gonna show you the perfect way to use satchel of element. First, don't spam all your key like this at once. Ah! No, don't do that, it is not effective. Activate it one by one like this. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. See, you can keep on using it one by one. Sometimes those monsters will come to you some after some. So doing this way, you can keep on attack them. Got it? Alright, so what do you guys think about this build? Powerful, right? If you have any question or suggestion, please leave a comment below. It took me some time to try and error to gather all the info. I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video. So don't forget to support me by hitting the like and subscribe. 
I'll be making more videos on builds and tips. So happy building, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Ta-ta.